everyone and welcome to Science Lab. The signs are happening because Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Every day we are looking at some of the great signs that are happening around us. In this episode, we are going to look at some of the technological advancements in this last days. As we become more even reliant on cellular phones and devices to aid in our everyday tasks, rapid development into new technologies in underway at an alarming rate. Modern devices are now specifically designed to interact with us in ways that mimic a real human being. Applications such as Siri and Google Cast are providing the user with a human-like interaction experience. These companies are creating artificial intelligent machines, machine exhibiting cognitive behavior with human-like intelligence. For a program to be classed as AI, it has to pass the Turing test, a test named after Alan Turing, a British mathematician who worked within the early stages of computer system development. He determined that if 30% of humans who interacted with the machine believe that they're actually interacting with a human being, the computer, then the computer is qualified as AI. Among the tech giants competing in the race is Google's head of technology research, Ray Kurzweil. He believes that in the next 10 years, Google will have the technology to stimulate and mimic all the functions of human brain, including human emotions. By 2029, we will have reverse engineered and modeled and stimulated all the regions of the brain that we will provide us that the software algorithmic methods to stimulate all of the human brain's capabilities, including our emotional intelligence. Dr. Ray Kurzweil envisions a day when you will go to an electronic store and you will have the lens of your eyes removed then and that it will be replaced with a liquid that's packed with electronics and a camera and a radio. You will be given them supervisions, you will be able to see in the dark, you will have infrared visions and you will be able to wire to the internet 24-7. With this supervision comes supervision and that's the problem. And when that happens, we are talking about a different form of human. They refer to this as humanity 2.0 or transhuman. And what people don't realize is that the singularity and the skin-gularity when this technology it is meshed with the human body are not only running parallel, they are actually the same. And the only way humans are going to be able to survive in the new artificial intelligence environment of the singularity is if we ourselves become machines. We are seeing a lot of technologies collision to cause a speeding up of the process. This is going to happen very suddenly without warning. We will probably be cut off guard by. It's interesting to talk about the phrase singularity. AI people call this the singularity for a different definite reason. They liken it to the fidget of a black hole. At the center of the black hole, you have the singularity. Essentially, a point of virtue in definite density and indefinite gravitational power. And in that type of crazy physics, all the physics that we don't seem to apply, we don't know how to predict things at the singularity. And this is what AI theories are saying. When computing intelligence exceeds our own, we human beings will not have the ability to predict the trajectory of our civilization. We are basically going to be losing control over this car that we think we are driving. And it's now the dominant intelligence will be beyond us. And what will that dominant intelligence will merge with us as Kurzweil thinks a combination of human-machine hybrid intelligence? very fast around us as we least expect it. We think that it is just a technological development, but these are the forerunners of the mark of the beast. We would have never thought that the mark of the beast would arrive in our lifetime. But like it or not, the fact is, 
it's right in the corner bible says that in the last days the antichrist will come to this world and introduce a universal mark of the beast he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and slave to receive the mark on their right hand or on their forehead and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so here is wisdom let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is triple six what is mentioned in the bible that are going to take place in the end times are taking place in our lifetime all they show that we are living in the last days lord jesus christ is coming back again very soon and before we end the show we would like to ask you a question from this episode which is the world's most popular intelligent assistant developed by apple option a is siri option b alexa and option c cortana Send us your answers to our email ID sciencelab at angeltv.org. If you have missed any of the episodes, do not worry. You can watch it again in our Science Lab YouTube page. But don't forget to like, share, comment on the video. And also ask your friends and relatives to watch the Science Lab so that they will know that we are living in the last days. Remember, signs are happening because Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Maranatha. Maranatha.